creating a media album. I'm in my course called Fourth Grade, and you can see that I've organized several different spaces for my students. We're gonna go into my math folder today, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a media album to my unit four division and whole numbers. And so, as you can see, I've added several things for my students, but one thing I wanted to do was offer a challenge for students to earn a badge by adding and contributing a photo of maybe something that they've seen that incorporates division in the real world. So in order to add a media album, you'll go into your course, add materials, and you'll select add media album. So as a teacher here, I wanna make sure that I title the media album so that students are only adding a specific item to this media album. In this case, I'm gonna call this division in the real world, okay? And I wanna list my expectations for my students, okay? As you are home, listen and look for real opportunities to use division. When an occasion arises, take a photo and, here we go, and explain how you used division. There we go. And apparently, I'm gonna fix that spelling there, arises with how you used division to solve this problem. All right. So I'm looking here on the bottom. These are my options. I want you to know that they could be assigned to individual students. You can publish it to your students, which I recommend, but again, unpublish if you're building ahead and don't plan to release this album challenge until later in the future. Um, I believe enabling comments is great <laughs> because if you upload a photo and you ask a question or you would like students to provide feedback like, wow, I didn't realize I could use division in this scenario, I'm going to try this out tonight, then there's a way for students to um, comment back and forth or provide feedback. Here you can see this instructor and the students can add media if you want to limit it to instructors only or maybe after two weeks you want to close up that media album which i don't recommend because again it'd be great if students were looking for examples all throughout the year um, and then lastly if you are a teacher of multiple courses you can copy this media album to multiple courses that you're teaching so i'm going to leave this here and go along with create i am on my macbook and so one of the things that um, your media album will prompt you for is to go ahead and attach a file. So I'm gonna start this for my students by attaching a file and I have saved one onto my desktop. Here is a picture that I'm gonna start my division with. Okay, and I'm gonna add the media. And you can see that I have uploaded 12 cupcakes. Um, right now there's no caption underneath, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And it, it does say that I have uploaded it, see, myself. And I'm gonna go ahead and edit the caption because there is no caption at this point. And I'm gonna say that we ordered 12 cupcakes for, the, uh, for my birthday. There are six members in my family. How many cupcakes will each person get? What is the division problem for this? So you could decide as a teacher if you want to have them type in that question. But in this case, it's going to be 12 divided by control command spacebar on your Mac will give you your symbols. And so I'm going to go ahead and look for division real quick. There it is. And if my cursor is in place, control command spacebar, division. 
I'm gonna double click on my division symbol. So this is 12 divided by six equals question mark. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save this. There we go. So now I'm gonna go back out to my album in the real world. There we go. And you can see that my caption is here. And as a student, I can respond back and reply or answer the question, what is the division problem for this? 12 divided by six equals two. So that's how media albums work and how you create a media album inside of Schoology. Remember, it's really important that you label the media album so students know uh, what type of media will go inside of this folder and that you give them clear expectations so that they know um, what to do if you want them to add a caption or if you want them to comment on each other's photos.